fine. Thanks for asking. I'm uh, going to pick up tires for low and slow. That's right, eight new tires. Listen to the sound of that. Gosh, I love this truck. You know what? She's not a big powerhouse, but I don't care. It uh, sounds amazing. Got a little kill mat on the roof. Just doing some testing out, and uh, I don't know if it works. It's got to work, I imagine, but <coughs> I got to get on uh, finishing the rest of this, and uh, I'm sure it'll help with uh, with the drone, but, um, but yeah, it's a beautiful day. Well, it's supposed to rain, but it's a beautiful day. The uh, leaves on the trees are all nice and yellow and orange and pretty. It's a very pretty time of year here, so, but uh, just before winter comes. But uh, yeah, anyways, let's go for a cruise into town and we'll go get some tires. I'm also going to pick up some pallets at work um, and try burning them in my wood boiler because we always have an issue with shipping pallets to where they're kind of a nuisance to get rid of, so I'm going to try burning them. I think they'll be just handy for um, for the month of uh, <coughs> November if it's not too cold out. For well, you know, like not too cold out being like highs in the day where it's in the positives with uh, low negatives. So, as a wood boiler, you don't want to stuff it right full of wood when it's not that cold. But it's nice to have a little bit of wood in there so that it uh, just keeps the chill off the house. So, anyways, that's what we're gonna do. You know, it's kind of amazing. With everything going on in the world, global part shortage, we sure have a lot of waste. That being said, look at all these pallets. So basically what I'm doing, I'm gonna take these pallets home, or attempt to, and burn them. Burn them in my outdoor wood boiler, cause you know what, all the parts that show up, they come on a pallet and you know what, you don't send them back, so free pallets. And uh, since they're free, I might as well see if I can use them. You know what, buck them up and throw them in the boiler and then just mag out the, the nails later and uh, make sure I dump the ashes somewhere where it doesn't matter if there's a rogue nail. But, uh, <sighs> but yeah, we gotta get ready for winter because you know what, it's October 2nd today, which ironically is my wife's birthday tomorrow and my birthday on Monday. Yes, that's right, Peterbilt Mike <sighs> is having a birthday. But enough of that, I'm gonna take my free pallets, try and stack them, uh, load them on low and slow. And you know what? That's the handy thing about having a deck truck. Cause I mean, look at this. I can load all sorts of stuff and my tires should be in today. With any luck, I'll be able to pick those up at the end of the day. And I need to buy some wheel studs. Cause you guys may have noticed that my other, uh, hub covers not on. And the reason why, and I apologize for it being dirty. I haven't washed it yet, but the studs, it looks like someone rounded the edge of the stud off so i don't know what someone did if they nailed them with uh the sledgehammer or whatever but uh but yeah my screw on hub covers they don't work so i'm gonna have to uh put longer studs on it so maybe when i do that i'll put longer studs so that i could put aluminum wheels on it too so it's all about the planning so anyways i'm gonna see if i can load these pallets up into a somewhat safe load and uh, yeah, fingers crossed it all works out.
a little bit better. I uh, couldn't get it all on though. Those ones I think they want to keep though for like to have a few good pallets kicking around. But uh, yeah, one more load to make it all go away. I could have gone a little higher, but I didn't really want to go higher. Um, you know, because they're not all the same size. So. Anyways, but that'll work. We'll give her a whirl. <laughs> see how this works for firewood. <clears throat> Might be a bit of a bugger, but we'll see. If it's a bugger, I just won't do it again. But if it works out good, eh, free wood. So we'll strap her, strap her down and head on home to get rid of it. Get my tractor out and put the forks on. Yeah. Uh, well, it's strapped down. It's a little bit hokey, but darn sun is in the way. I have two straps on the front bundle a couple on the back this strap got uh, soaked in oil that's a bit of a bugger um, that one there but um, yeah not the prettiest load but what the heck eh so anyways run it home and hopefully when I get that done my tires are ready so anyways tell you this deck is sure handy my gosh look at all these pallets I have I've got pallets for days um, yeah so now get the power saw off and just kind of go zip 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 and see how they fit clean up the crud in the back and um, yeah maybe I'll wash low and slow too because it's still muddy from that trip and I haven't had time to uh, to wash them even though I wash K2 off but uh but yeah people dig the fresh washer out get that mud off and make them look a little spiffier so I can uh well hopefully pick up my tires this afternoon and then um maybe tomorrow I can do tires or maybe next weekend I don't know we'll see how it goes anyways well guys that's it I got my tires that's right I um I also washed low and slow. Um got that mud. I tell you, it was like concrete. Ah. Uh, anyways, I should have washed it off when we got back, but you know, I got caught up with K2 wanting to do a whole bunch of stuff to it and uh, and you know what? It's time to give low and slow some love. So um got it washed off and I got my tires. I got my tires. They are Michelin X Works D. Look at those bad boys. That's uh, that's gonna be kind of awesome. And uh, you know what? We're gonna see a lot more of these Michelin X Works D because I'm gonna be ordering them all my tri drives because they are low rolling resistant. Because you know, to meet the greenhouse gas regulations, we have to have low rolling resistant tires. Can't get the tires you want. Can't get the traction tires you need, but um, you know what? These actually look like a pretty good tire, so I'm pretty excited. Um, <clears throat> they're directional. They've got <clears throat> rock ejectors here so that they um, don't stone drill. 
And uh, the one thing about low rolling resistant is they should wear very, very well. So not sure how they'll do in the winter time. Um, I'm sure we're gonna find out. If a guy takes and sipes them, they might not be too bad. I'm not gonna get them siped for low and slow, of course, but uh, but yeah, it'd be good to get some new rubber on because you know what, these tires, um, they're mix matched and look at that, I got my wheels dirty already. And uh, this one's not bad. This one, this one's got some weather checking and, um, and there's one on the other side that's got some spots that aren't fantastic, so. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Maybe tomorrow I can put these tires on. Um, if I can get a tire bar, a blaster. Boy, my little air compressor is gonna work its little heart out doing that, but, uh, but yeah, be nice to put them on. And you know what, I've done thousands of, well, maybe not. Yeah, I probably have done a thousand tires. So when I was a kid, we did all our own tires. All you need are two tire bars. Um, bead blaster works fantastic. When I started, we didn't have a bead blaster. We had grease rings and that. So, uh, so yeah, see if I can borrow dad's old tools and uh, yeah, put some tires on. Cause um, you know what, winter's coming and low and slow could use some good rubber. Anyways, till tomorrow guys. Peace. Look at the sunset. Like, dang, that's pretty awesome. Awesome. These tires. Yeah. Can't wait. Have a good night. I'm pooped out. Gosh, I was working for a living as a bugger. My hair. What's my hair look like? I never even thought to check my hair. I'd probably look like a dork. Oh well. Whatever.